Welcome to the Call Like I Don't See a Podcast, where we talk about movies, comics, games, sports, and food fights for the culture. I am GP. What's up, folks? This is your guy AD here once again. What up? How you doing? What up? I heard this song on the radio the other day, man. It's kind of catchy, dude. Mm. And A, B, C, D, forget you. You heard it? Mm Mm-mm. Go A, B, C, D, E, forget you and oh. your mom and your sister. You hear that song? <laughs> no. <laughs> Bro, it was dope. And then I was like, you know, I'm listening to it. And, <laughs> and then I'm like, yo, it'd be so crazy if there's like an uncensored version to this song. It was like, you know, A, B, C, D, F, U, you know. So I looked it up and it, that's exactly the song, bro. Like, <laughs> It kind of makes sense for the go to the F, U part. Right, right. I was like, oh, that's cool. A, B, C, D, E, F, U, and your mom. I was like, yeah, this person's that's aggressive. Just, that's just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But she goes out the whole list of who she's upset at with this dude that, that messed her up or whatever in the relationship. Mm-hmm. Took the alphabets like, to a whole nother level. Uh, I'm like, I wish I could teach the alphabet like that. <laughs> Shit. It's a kid. Okay, folks, today we're learning the, the letter F. Here we, oh here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, U. You and your mom. Wait, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, it's a dope yeah. song, though. It's a you dope have song. like a whole bunch of parent teacher conferences. After yeah, that. for real. I mean, then there has to be something for G, get the hell out of here, or H, hold yourself together. Something like that. I don't know. Be one for one thing for every letter. But it's pretty good. Pretty catchy song. How's your week, though? Oh, <laughs> uh, man. The week's, you know, steady. Um, I am building the man cave. Oh, it's or a the game room or the whatever you want to call it. Man I cave think. of GP, your lair. Yeah. Welcome to G's lair. Oh, yeah. that sounds good. Got some anime figures up. Mm. Um, some pops? Mm-hmm. You got some pops in there? Got a few. Well, I ain't put up the pops yet because I'm waiting mm-hmm. on another bookshelf. But um, all right. I got some, you know, picture legends for my um, CGC graded comics. Up, nice. So. That's finally up. Yeah. Good. So um, it's getting there. Like a little bit, like 15, 10 percent added on. Uh. You know. Nice. I love that loading sign on your screen right now. It's like <laughs> it's buffering, but it's loading, dogs. Your your man cave is loading. It's it's right. It's yeah, kind of yeah, like yeah. Sims or something. You're building your little Sims man <laughs> Sims. cave. Sims man cave. I think that was that they had like Sims do, roller coasters, do, Sims do they, party. Do they have man caves in Sims? Sims man cave. I don't know. I'm just <laughs> they had Sims for everything else. I remember Might I tried well. to play Sims once, and then I was like, I'm 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 felt like my character was bored. Mm-hmm. I think I was lo- loving the building part, but not the building the personality of my character. Right, it's a whole different. Just build your own personality. G. Yeah, that's how you're supposed to do it. Yeah, live the real world, sir. Ah, uh, I cannot wait to see your man cave, bro. It's like on my biggest star <laughs> thing on the calendar. I'm like, just tell me when I can come over. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I think you, you and uh, my, you and my father can't wait to see like it's, in the, be in the house. Cause there's nothing like when you get your first man cave, bro. Like your official man cave. Like mm-hmm. that is a that is I think that I think that has to be like up on every man's dream when you first get your man cave, you know? Like yeah. my god. It's like, so many like, ideas too, man. So like, many ideas and like uh just have some random stuff in there for no reason. And also before this podcast, mm-hmm. I'm beat Devil May Cry. So I only have Guardians of the Galaxy left and then I'm oh. about to get on uh eat you oh finished see- it. Yeah. Oh, okay. And also Sifu come out. Oh yeah, next week too. Yeah, Steve's dropping, bro. Dang. Damn. There's a lot of games coming up, dude. A lot of yeah. games coming up. But your man cave is going to be loaded with all that goodness. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Cannot wait. Yeah. Uh, speaking of games. How was your week? Uh, I'm kind of done. I'm over with this uh, Valhalla. Oh, 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 what? I'm, tro- I'm dropping it on Valhalla. No. Say yeah. it ain't so, man. I'm dropping it. It's too damn long, dude. The game is too damn long. Like, it's fun. It started out fun. It's great. I love Viking lore and all that stuff. But right now, it's just becoming like a homework assignment for me. It's these like, days, I realize these days, we should start, like, looking at reviews of a game and see how long it takes to play a game. Because uh-huh. it's getting longer, man. Games just in general just getting longer to beat. But some games don't have to be, like, over 200 hours, dude. Like, this game is ridiculously long. And it's, mm-hmm. like, so many different parts of the map and side quests and stuff. I'm like, I feel like, I, I feel threatened if I don't put in at least four hours. I don't want to feel that, you mm-hmm. know, that's playing a, a game. I want to enjoy it, you know? That's, that's a lot with travel, big sandbox games in general, man. You just mm-hmm. got to do all that traveling to get to a mission and then... I mean, then granted... It, like this is my first time getting an Assassin's Creed game, you know what I mean? So mm-hmm. you, I, I was like, "Do you normally play sandbox games?" 
nah, not not really. Mm. I'm so more like, competitive. It's like know. like the first sandbox besides Red Dead. I guess so, right? Because the Red the Red Dead and sandbox, yeah, yeah, that counts as sandbox. Well, mm-hmm. Red Dead wasn't as like long as this one. Jesus, yeah. boy. The map was huge though. Like it was huge, yeah. but I mean, you know, things were a little bit more enjoyable. At this mm-hmm. point, it's like I don't, I'm, I'm not even caring about the story, and that's where I'm, I know I'm bad at it. Right. But it wouldn't be this bad if it, if I, you know, if there wasn't so many games that's coming up that I want to play. You know, oh, like gotcha. you just you just mentioned Sifu, and then we got Horizon Zero Dawn. I mean, yeah. not Zero Dawn, um, Forbidden West Forbidden coming West. out. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, I'm not gonna beat this in a week, and it comes out next week, right? The 18th. Yeah. So yeah, if if it wasn't any games that I was that's coming out, I'd be like, all right, cool, I could I could stomach this game for a little longer. But now I'm like, nah, dog. Right. I ain't putting in this homework assignment for for, for so, nothing. I'm, so you putting it you putting it to bed, huh? Yeah, I'm just be on Call of Duty as usual. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Instant gratification. That's the difference. Like, I like instant gratification when I'm gaming. I mean, who doesn't? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And Call of Duty, you do a couple of rounds, boo boo boo, you win. Right, great, feel good. Right. If I holla, I put in like six hours, I'd be like, all right, I got this one part of the story completed, which is like another 0.5%. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, I can't I can't do it. I can't do it anymore. Yeah. Uh, maybe I'll pass it down to my son eventually when he gets of age. Like, yo, can you finish this game for me? It's from like 10 years ago, bro, but I believe in you. I believe in you. You had, it, probably... you had him the game, the game. He blow, yeah, blow the yeah. dust off of it. But they have like six more freaking DLCs. It's like one game per DLC, dogs. Because oh, like man. they got Val, uh, Ragnarok coming out as a DLC for it. Mm. And it's a whole other game, dude. Like it's literally, literally like massive, like a whole other game. So I'm like, you know what? I'm tapping out. I don't got that kind of time. Yeah. I don't get that kind of But that's the problem with those Assassin's Creed games, man. They never stop once they go. They, like, just keep coming. Just keep going. Yeah, I had enough. I I, I enjoyed it, but I'm, I'm good. I'm. I feel like you know. You know. You eat too much food. I'm like over obese right now, dog. Yeah. And I'm just like, I can't fit anything else in you my belly. You can't keep having the pizza every time because you can get tired of pizza. I can't. I can't eat anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> Throw it up by hollow. Number Viking axes all over the place. I, now I gotta do a little workout because get ready to eat up on uh, Horizon. I mean, like, geez, dude, I gotta go on a little diet here before I start. Change of palate. Seriously, but other than that, um, I started over Attack on Titan finally because mm. everybody's talking about this last season being seriously crazy fire, mm. especially like some people in my family. Shout out to Lissa, mm-hmm. and um, I was like, you know what? Let me start. I just had to start over. Got complete. I forgot parts and of the plot and whatnot so i was like let me jump back in on it so yeah. i'm a few episodes good. behind on uh, attack on titan only because mm. the demon slayer been stressing me out Ooh. with these cliffhangers we'll, we'll get to that shortly yeah. <laughs> Ooh, boy mm-hmm. yeah so i've been on attack on the titan and then this was also a very sad week for me as well dude i had to mm. say goodbye to uh my wife's elantra mm. of course you folks who would be keeping up i was in a car accident a couple of months ago mm. and uh they put that they put her down to rest. They put that car to rest. Rest in peace it. to the Elantra. Elantra. Yeah, please. I have some memories in that uh, car, right? Elantra. Yes, it drove us down from New York to Houston. Did a lot of road trips in that car. It was sad, bro. It's, it was a scene the car broken, wrecked up there in the wreck shop. I was like, ah, dang. I came back to collect last minute items and whatnot, and it's just like, man. And then instantly in my head, it kicked off uh, the... Uh, adventures of the uh, toaster mm-hmm. <laughs> the little brave little toaster mm-hmm. and you know remember the part where they were at the uh, the, the dump and they're singing that song worthless that's what came in my head on the movie <laughs> dog <laughs> i used to drive them down to houston <laughs> i used to believe we'd be being together but now i'm heading to the trash that's an instant turn to a musical all the all the, t- worthless. <laughs> all the the shop uh employees start dancing and stuff Yep, but my this car was speaking in particular to the lady that freaking ran the red light, dogs. <laughs> Stupid ass lady wanna run the red light. Ran it to me and now I'm facing my end because she don't wanna pay attention. <laughs> Worthless. <laughs> ah, rest in peace, cilantro. <laughs> is it cilantro or is it cilantro, bro? Cilantro just, is a dish. You <laughs> just said cilantro. Cilantro. I said elantra. 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 Cilantro. Yes, cilantro is a garnish, bro. Potato. It's potato. Herb. Yeah, I know. Jeez. <laughs> that go well with some tacos. Cilantro. Rest in peace, cilantro. <laughs> God, thank you cilantro. for all the great memories. But I will be whipping it up in a new. I mean, my wife will be in a new whip soon enough. So. Mm-hmm. Look out for that. In other news, a big buffet style broke out in the Golden Corral. Police in Pennsylvania are investigating after a fight broke out over steak. 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 Yeah. Steak. I'm good at. 
Video from the scene shows dozens destroying furniture and slamming high chairs in all out brawl. It's just ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Throwing baby chairs, bro. High seats mm -hmm. <laughs> for, for some damn steak. <laughs> Police confirmed about 40 people were involved in the fight. No serious injuries. Mm -hmm. You're aware of co-workers of the joint say that it started over shortage of steak. Shortage of steak. Gotta steak. drive anyone upset. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like that's not similar to the uh, Popeyes incident when people were getting fights over the, the running out of chicken chicken mm -hmm. sandwiches. Yeah. It's pathetic, dogs. Yeah. Come on, dude. Golden Corral is. I've never even had Golden Corral. Is it that good to be fighting over? I think I had Golden Corral. I think I had the steak burger and it was good. Mm -hmm. it was and then is it, it? It made me want to keep looking, you know, around the area where the steak burgers are at when mm -hmm. they resupply. It kept mm -hmm. making me, you know, turn my head and see if they have some more ready. Uh -huh. So. Is that good or is, is, is it good is, enough to fight is, over? For me, it's that good to that level of turning my head and see if they have some more. But not no, you know, I'm hungry. Give me my steak. You know what I'm saying? Th throwing a chair at your neighbor. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I thought, wasn't there a report like they couldn't understand this person? There's like two parties I was fighting over it, right? One party was in line and they couldn't understand what they wanted to order. Cause yeah, the because mask, the mask on their face. Yeah. All you, all you can hear is somebody say, all I wanted was steak. Right. So, but I think that what they were saying to, um, to when they investigated was like they, in the ordering of their steak, the I guess the cook couldn't understand what the person was saying, so it took longer for them to get their order. But how can it escalate like that to that uh, point? But the person, Excuse the me? other, the other party cut you. the line. The other person cut the line and got in front of them. It was kind of messed up. <laughs> I, 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 all these scenarios still don't match up on the brawl. Why right? the fight? Yeah, no, exactly. A forty-person brawl turned into a whole new freaking Super Smash Bros. Right. sequel game. Yeah, yeah. In this All corner, we got <laughs> Sylvia Green versus an unknown hungry guy. <laughs> oh, here comes a new challenger! <laughs> Knock your ass out of the Golden Corral stage. <laughs> one, Golden Corral one, platform. One, one fighter got a got a got a, uh, a side character with like a baby that comes with the diapers. <laughs> <laughs> one character got two two baby uh two baby high chairs in their hand and they hit you with them serious combo max damage another character got, <laughs> another character got, got a psychic power where they can levitate forks and to hit hit the other character with so, you gotta you got the cook that cook actually is in the fight he's got two uh B bad marie's that he hits you with too and two dishes full of steak yeah, they got a steak the cook, special they got a cook in the background always coming in and out with more food <laughs> Why the, oh, that, that's his in assist. the background. Yeah, that's his assistance. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> somebody in there is automatically on like 140 hits on their percentage. It's like, yo, don't get hit, bro. You about to get dashed in the corner. <laughs> <Ka -chow>! <laughs> <laughs> oh, she, <laughs> she hit him with the chair. <laughs> you, you know it. Uh, <laughs> you know in Street Fighter when they go to different places, uh -huh. they, go to, they got Texas Golden Corral steak, <laughs> California Golden Corral. Wow. That's a good. That's a good game. That's a good little side game to play. That is, man. Yeah. For the Switch, switch it up. Switch Golden it up. Corral, yeah. Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Yeah, too. That's sad, dude. Because like, <laughs> firstly, when you watch this video, it's like, okay, once again, nobody's paying attention to COVID and whatever, and it's like super jam packed in this Golden Corral, bro. You and know, it, it's unfortunate that steak led to this incident. I'm curious how these uh, police gonna figure out who in the video started it because there's so many heads flopping around i mean they got to look at the security cameras at yeah the they're front. gonna be looking at like uh, uh the referee look at a uh <laughs> the, the review on the play yeah. <laughs> since so many personal yeah. files everywhere yeah, so, so many flags on the play yeah so many <laughs> it'd be funny if you saw flags in the bra too <laughs> <laughs> somebody just throwing up yellow flags <laughs> Make it a golden corral flag a golden corral <laughs> golden corral flags all over yeah. the place <laughs> Get out! <laughs> Jessica, get out! <laughs> they throwing chairs, they're throwing, baby! They throwing flags! We got Take the out. food in the box! Let's go! <laughs> right! Forget the tip! <laughs> Forget it! Let's go! We out here! Get the steak! <laughs> Do better, America! Do better, Golden Corral eaters! Yeah. Damn! Yeah. I got I mean, I'm interested now in trying the steak to see if it's that good to, to you know, at least be upset about it. Just fighting over food like some savages, though. Like, we're some kind of third world country. Yeah, it's like just a, sad. You ain't that dog I'm hungry. No, no. We'll show you the real hunger out there that nobody wants to pay attention yeah, to. Yeah, exactly, yeah. The one that's, uh, you know, do they even show the commercials for the hungry anymore? 
mm. that's starving. I don't think they do it like they used to. Nah, they used to go heavy on it. Yeah, it was like a to. world problem. Yeah. The mm. world hunger issue. Now it's like, ah, uh, we got other things to worry about. Yeah. Sad, dude. You guys would be fighting over food. I'm pretty sure you're going to have breakfast, though, right? Right, right. Exactly. People yeah. that are struggling ain't going to have no breakfast. I'll just go nothing. to another restaurant, man. Call it a wrap if you day. Pretty home. much. Like, Golden Corral, bro. Steak? Nah, yeah, no. Come on, man. Nah, dude. Nah. Chill out. Yeah. Chill out. <laughs> Calm and just put it in a video game form so we can do that instead. exactly. Just make it a video game. <laughs> now think about you, you know you get that little sparkle when they hit the when they're using the bat and you yeah. see that little twinkle on the bat in the in uh, Super Smash Bros. Now I'm uh-huh. thinking about that, but with a, uh, a high seat, a high chair, <laughs> <laughs> just winding up. <laughs> Reverse B, bang, <laughs> Chong knocked out to the side. <laughs> Back in your car. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh man, do better on that. Let's move on. Let's call it there on the uh, golden we'll call it then. Yeah. Are we Ooh, winning? Are we winning? Watch out for the high chairs, dude. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Rockstar. <laughs> Rockstar, <laughs> <laughs> Rockstar <laughs> announces finally GTA 6 is in active development. I know. Wow. Rockstar fans been waiting for like years for a new GTA to come out. What has it been like eight years or so? Man, it's been like something like that because they keep refreshing this GTA 5. Like, this is the newest, newest game to come out. Just give us mm. the GTA 6 or whatever you something new. How about right. that? Right. So it's just announced, no date yet on when it's going to be dropping. Rockstar never give out a date, man. They, they, uh, they weird with that, but yeah. Uh, nice. Well, uh, you, I know you're a fan of that's GTA, a, right? That's another sandbox. It. Another sandbox game. That's yeah. another sandbox game. I will mm-hmm. not be on that. That's yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's GTA. You. Well, it's not as long as that as Valhalla, but yeah, it's a good game. Can we not bring up that game anymore? <laughs> like, <laughs> I can't believe. Really. When you bring it up, I feel like I got work to do, dog. Like I feel like I'm on my weekend. I feel like I got work when you bring it up. Where's my up. papers? <laughs> God dang it! I still gotta write this paper. <laughs> Shit. That's a bit. <laughs> Sony buys video game maker Bungie. Mm. For three point six billion dollars. Dollar. <laughs> Whoa! I guess this is their response to Microsoft buying Activision. Is this? this yeah, is going on? and it's plus it's so quickly to do. Like right. they, saw, they saw that news, like we gotta buy something real fast. Buy something that's not really worth that price. They <laughs> took Crash Bandicoot. We taking Halo. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking no Bungie. Bungie made what? Halo. Yeah. Then they do Destiny. Destiny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Destiny and Halo. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Mm-hmm. Wow, smack in the face. This is another brawl waiting to brew up uh, right now. Another brawl, yeah. Fight everybody fighting. Yeah. Nintendo the, the Nintendo gonna buy uh um uh, Walmart soon. Walmart? Mm-hmm. <laughs> For no reason. No reason. <laughs> Well, you, you sure you guys got that, but where you get to sell them? Yeah, <laughs> you can't sell them at our Walmart <laughs> at our spots. No, <laughs> no curbside pickup with your <laughs> shit. <laughs> we gonna take over Best Buy next. <laughs> That's Nintendo's best bet. Oh my god! Well, congratulations, Sony. Hopefully, I don't know what you guys intend to do there with Bungie, but yeah, man, yeah, I've dropped off of Destiny so long ago. Me too. It's so sad. Yeah. All right, next good bit. Moving on. Bit. We got uh, Dakota Johnson, the lady from Fifty Shades of Grey. Has, mm. uh, I guess the casting is she's casting for uh, Madam Web mm-hmm. in Sony's Madam Web movie, which is, I don't know what's going on here with mm. Sony. I don't get that. You know, Sony like the cash grab, so. Yeah, but what is, does Madam Web deserve a movie? That's no, I, she don't even get out of that chair she's in. Yeah, I'm saying, no, she just show up like, she's like a pop-up side character. I, I ne- think never her. saw her stand up. No, she. I think she's she's suffering from some kind of illness in the comics. That's yeah, why so, she's like that. So how? We, well, so they gonna have Spider Man in it? But I I don't know. But what I, I did see so uh, an article saying that um, they're gonna change. I guess some form of her abilities. So maybe she's gonna be able to walk or something. Here. Oh my god! You already? Yeah, I know. I know. So it's I feel Sony. Like it's a bad idea. Mm, it's a good hands, right? <laughs> You're in good hands. With us, yeah, sure. <laughs> but yeah, Dakota Johnson, um, congratulations, I guess. See mm-hmm. what you can do with that role. I see. You know, sit, you know who sit would, on that chair. <laughs> you know who would have been a good Madam Web if they did like a Spider Verse movie? Um mm-hmm. Sandra Bullock. I was thinking Bullock. Yeah. I was thinking she'd make a good set yeah, she mm-hmm. would make a good one. Yeah. Or um, Oh no! They already used her for Aunt May. Forget it. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> Marissa <laughs> Tomei. <laughs> it may be her. No, I was thinking more of the other lady from um, the 
God dang it. Andrew Garfield's Ant Man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Sally Field. Yeah, Sally yeah Field. she would have made a good one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, let's see. Yeah. I'm not gonna watch this movie, but let's see. Let's see what they do with it. <laughs> yeah, if they got a <laughs> Spider Man in it. I, I, I'll check that. That's the out. only way. If they're gonna put in one of the Spider Man in there, sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, good. Yeah. Uh, moving on to a little bit, bit of bit. spurts. Talking the spurts. A little bit of spurts here. Well, now it's been officially confirmed that the uh, great one, the GOAT known as Tom Brady, mm-hmm. has officially retired after 22 years in mm-hmm. the NFL. Mm-hmm. Um, your thoughts here, G, on Tom Brady leaving? Hey, he, he done everything he can mm-hmm. as a quarterback. And um, I didn't like Tom Brady that much. But mm-hmm. Congrats, man. I hope he's healthy coming out of retirement. Oh, yeah, he and is healthy. He's leaving at the highest point of his game right now. Yeah, I'm talking about, like, you know, mind and body-wise. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, oh, right, after, right. you know, injuries and stuff. But mm-hmm. after all of that, I hope, you know, whatever he goes into next, I wish Probably him well. Just, might just be his family. <laughs> like, well, you know. The way he was talking, like, he didn't want to do any Like I said, uh, like, you know, business something. adventures or something like that. Right, right. Because he does have that uh, TB12 brand that he does. Yeah. The mm-hmm. LFG that right. he likes to do. Um, yeah, I was in your boat. I mean, the first three years of Tom Brady, I mean, the first three Super Bowls, I was kind of rooting for him. Uh huh. You know, and then after that, when they won the other three, I was like, all right, that's enough, dude. Like, then I started, <laughs> then I started hating him. Right, you know, I was like, all right, that's enough, bro. Like, can you chill? But then my respect for Brady came, honestly, last, when, last he, year. when he, yeah, when he went to a whole new different team for the first time and in the first year, still killed it with a, a Super still Bowl killed ring. it and won. So I was like, you know what, man? You are definitely a G. You yeah. are, you are great at what you do, sir. Mm-hmm. Because that just showed it's him, the man that yeah. made those Patriots dynasties who they are. You can't hate so, on talent. You can't really hate. You can't really hate, especially when he sticks with one team. <coughs> <laughs> LeBron. I, this is this is LeBron. this is this is <laughs> NFL. This is NFL we're talking about. Sticking and you and team. you still can't hate on that talent sticking either. With, sticking with one team. <laughs> and you hate. Did he get a bunch of friends to join him? And you still can't hate on that talent either. Uh, LeBron. You can you can cough up all that Valhalla stuff you want. You can't hate on that uh, talent either. Anyway, uh, anywho, <laughs> clear throw. Stick a one team, LeBron. <laughs> Stick a one team. Uh, in other uh, sports news, congratulations, Tom Brady. Congrats, congrats. <laughs> Happy for you. Uh, the Washington Football Team, formerly known as the Washington Football Team, are now known as the Washington Commanders. So. So they're not going with booty scratches. No, it's the Washington Commander. What, what are they commanding? Losing. <laughs> I don't like that name, man. What you think about that name? They're losers. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope every time they come out of the field, they do that sound effect for no reason. <laughs> it's a bunch of random ass explosions to, sh- to overshadow how bad their freaking franchise is, dog. Mm. I don't know, man. Like, if it was if it was a winning team, maybe this name would have you know gelled I, better. I, I feel like it's an old name. It is. It, it doesn't seem like anything you know modern. I, I, I thought they was coming. They was thinking so hard that they was gonna come up with something that no one ever heard before. But commanders. Right, the Commanders. I like the '80s show that came on right after, <laughs> right, GI right Joe. before, yeah, yeah, right before GI Joe. The Commanders, or maybe after. So you know, if you want to watch it, <laughs> you watch yeah. the Commanders on oh, the A team. After the A team, <laughs> Commanders. <laughs> Click <laughs> TV off. I ain't watching that shit. <laughs> Ah, man. but their uniforms, I guess their uniforms, I saw the picture. It looks tight, though. Their uniform looks Yeah, really uniforms tight. are cool. Yeah, yeah, I like that. It's just a shame, though. You don't got the, you got the uniform. You got somewhat of a decent name, in my opinion. But you don't have the winning culture to go behind it. Like, if you are a commander, yeah, man, like, the Patriots could be the commanders. You know what I mean? When, when Tom was on that team. Mm-hmm. You could have called that team the commanders. Nobody's taking that from them. But you're at the bottom of the NFC East, bro. Like, what are you, what are you commanding? Yeah, Dust? You're not commanding anything. <laughs> the towel boys? What, what are you commanding? No, nobody's afraid of you. You're commanding no points in the game. And now, give it up for your Washington Commanders! <laughs> Anybody? <laughs> Nobody? Nope. Not even a clap? Crickets. Damn. Crickets. Crickets. <laughs> well, how about this? <laughs> what is that? 
I'm giving you sound effects for your team, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody in the random crowd said it bad loud. I don't know. All that silence. <laughs> what is what that? Was that? <laughs> <laughs> the announcer guy was well, for your team. I, I thought you guys needed a little bit of hype. <laughs> hype sound effects. <laughs> we don't need that. Not. I guess not. The three people that's in the stands watching this game. Well, good luck to you, commanders. Hopefully, mm-hmm. you can command a different. Uh, Record than you've had in the last 20,000 years of your existence. Mm. Not that much. That's over exaggeration. Sorry. Mm-hmm. But yeah, command this. Command that. <laughs> and now I'm going to Yeah! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. We all back. Yes, sir. So now we got our first guest for 2022, right? Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep. it's been a while since we had a guest, bro. Hey, yeah. Give it up for Jacksonville's own. He's back in the house, Mr. Mm-hmm. Bobo, your friendly neighborhood Bobo. Wrestler, poet, podcaster mm. himself, Bobo. Bobo listens make me uh, go uh, so uh, crazy. Uh, He's uh, back uh, up uh, on the podcast, man, that don't get lazy. <laughs> <laughs> Bobo listens. <laughs> He's back up on what the podcast. This, <laughs> What's up, brother? It's to be back with you, man. Like, I, I enjoy hanging out with y'all. And I enjoy, like I said, chill, chilling with y'all on Twitter and everything. It's always good yeah. to, to mm-hmm. come kick it with you guys on the show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dog. We've been seeing you on Instagram, too, bro. Like, oh, yeah. your wrestling oh. moves and your tactics. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you are quite the busy man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, I, I, I really am. Like, this year has been... Like legitimately the busiest I've been ever. Mm-hmm. So yeah, wow. I'm very happy with a lot of stuff that's going on, a lot of stuff that's mm-hmm. happening. Um, but yeah, I, I've been doing a lot. So yeah, mm-hmm. I, wow. hear, I hear you doing um, interviews with cosplayers. It's yeah, called yeah, uh, this month. Yeah, this month I wanted to do that. Yeah, it's going to be called. Cre- well, it's a show that I already have. It's called mm-hmm. Creators in Color. Um, mm-hmm. I've done a few interviews with people like Steph I Will on Twitter, Stephanie Williams. She's mm-hmm. a current writer for Nubia, and um, she does other, like I said, comic book stuff. But I've known Stephanie for a while now. We, I remember like when we used to talk about just like comic books and stuff like that that she wanted to see get love. And mm-hmm. um, I brought her on for uh, her Living Heroes um, mm-hmm. comic. And I've talked to a few friends. Like I have a friend who does a podcast called The Short Box. I've talked with him. Had a few other things. But um, Creators and Colors started off as my way of featuring um cosplayers of color because that's mm-hmm. what was the original name cosplayers of color mm. um and this was like right around the same time 28 day, 28 days of black cosplay started and mm. we did people like um Shelanin cosplay mm. she was in otaku scum i've done rick and ronnie i've done chocolate <laughs> energy mm. um i've done uh, the number of cosplayers that I just like said were were cool with online, and I just wanted to make sure that they got the spotlight and stuff that they um that they deserved because wow. there weren't any spreads on cosplayers or black mm-hmm. cosplayers in the major cosplay magazines or websites and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. we kind of had to do it our own. Like the one, the girl, the black woman who mm-hmm. started Twenty Eight Days of Black Cosplay, like that was the reason why. Like we weren't getting the visibility that we deserved or or needed right now like so yeah we had to give it to ourselves Mm -hmm. i never knew that was a struggle like yeah i mean of course you know struggle black culture it goes hand in hand right Mm -hmm. we just just struggle with everything (laughs) i didn't know that was a thing but that is awesome dude like shout out to all your work that you're doing here man all those people pretty major Mm mm-hmm yeah. You sound like you're a civil rights leader or something right now. We're talking to you right now. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, God dang! Um, I'm just, I'm just a blur from Florida, man. I just really love, like, showing off my friends and showing off what people are doing and stuff. And like I said, I have the platform to do it, and I really enjoy mm-hmm. doing that. Right, man. Bless your efforts, too. Yeah. That is awesome. Mm-hmm. They could be full of cosplay right now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> get featured. <laughs> But uh, any, you you dropped any latest poetry? I know you you a poet, right? Um, poet slash writer. Yeah, I mean wrestler. I, I um, <laughs> so I I've been writing. I haven't dropped anything yet. But um, mm. there there is one poem that I um that I started, and mm. it was really based off of that literal one scene from Loki. Mm-hmm. It's called He Who Remains, and I started it off like, "So you come to kill the devil?" Like, mm-hmm. it, like it, that's the starting so line. Play. Yeah, that's the starting line because that's what oh, he says when, he, when he meets him. He's like, "Yeah, yeah, I'm to kill the devil." Like, right. and it stuck with me. And like, yeah. I, I, um, yeah, yeah, I did basically. I was like, I, I started writing from there, and uh. it, it goes into a lot of like 
struggles and stuff that I've gone through personally or whatever, because like, yeah, you see yourself trying your hardest, but like until you get to that successful point, like you, you watch variant after variant after variant of yourself just fail and die right. and then get like, like Damn, so, yeah, dude. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just a, it's just a, a, a introspective look on how how I've taken like where I am now mm-hmm. and things like that. So yeah, mm-hmm. nice, um, bro. Yeah. Man, that would be so dope if you use that as an intro for like your wrestler song. So you've, <laughs> so you've come to kill the devil. <laughs> like, oh, that's that is a <laughs> That is a dope intro, bro. Yeah. Uh-huh. That, that, nice. I think about that, man. Be, yeah. Be way to integrate it. <laughs> yeah, dude. So you've come to kill the devil. No, bro, I'm telling you, bro, right no, now. No. That is dope. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Sweet um, dogs. Um, you also did a live podcast at a con, right? Yeah, I was recently at Central Florida Comic Con. I was able to do a live show and panel for that day. Um, I was mm-hmm. super hyped about it. Like, it, it it take it gives podcasting perspective, or whatever. Because like, you may see like, oh, I'm not doing that many like numbers. As I'm not doing like like say like um I just name dropping like random shows like for all nerds or or this is the read or this like that and third but like mm-hmm. get about 20 to 30 people in the room that's a lot of people that is yeah. dude. that is a lot of people yeah <laughs> yeah, like, yeah i may have like 20 30 listens but like 20 30 people, that's a lot of people that's a lot dude myself. and yeah. and i mean yeah. shout out to acoustics acoustics always just tell me because he used to do um podcasting in college mm-hmm. and his professor yeah. used to tell him all you need is one ear mm-hmm. and yeah. that's it you know, mm-hmm. so the fact that you yeah. have just twenty, that's that's good mm-hmm. enough. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it, it, it was dope. The, the small group that they come to see me, it was really nice. Like they were interactive. They got, they asked questions and stuff. Like they've never heard of me. I was just was some random guy on the console. Like you guys want to see a panel? Um, mm-hmm. Interesting thing about that day, I pulled double duty that day mm-hmm. because wow. I did a panel, and then immediately after the panel, I drove about like. Uh, I want to say like 70 or 100 miles to a wrestling event Whoa. and I wrestled in a tag team tournament <laughs> and then at home I clocked my whole like trip for that day I was in I was I did 426 miles in Damn. 7 hours Whoa. Dang. Yeah, like I've I've been driving this year like <laughs> bottle was gone <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. You've come to kill the devil. <laughs> <laughs> it just fits, bro. It just fits. <laughs> that is awesome, oh, man. bro, man. Jeez, that is yeah. good. Do you have any other questions you want to run through with them? Or um, you... I just wanted to ask, what's did it did it feel? Because we try to do a live show, but on Instagram, uh, is it, okay. it was there a difference when you was doing a live show with you know actual audience rather than you just yeah, by yourself a podcast studio? Yeah, it's seeing their faces, like seeing them react <laughs> to the jokes and mm-hmm. like, seeing them like get the like, oh, I understand what he's saying and stuff like that. Like it's just the the full on like, oh my god, I'm getting in real time. Like reactions. Mm-hmm. Oh man. Yeah. yeah. So That's, it's kinda like it's kinda like you're in like a stand up comedian mode then. Right. That was gonna yeah, happen. It yeah. really is. It really oh, is. Snap. Like, Cause like I said, you can keep talking about stuff or whatever, but like I said, if mm-hmm. you see the audiences going another direction, like you just like say you move you move and pivot. That's all. Right. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey dude. That's crazy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh okay, so um Good catch up there. Let's jump into a little bit of the uh, Black History Talk then, mm. since you you know you're uh, yeah. looking out for the blacks, uh, the cosplayers of color. Um, I mean, I just thought about this the other day, and I was just like, what does Black History Month mean now to you know people of color? Like, mm-hmm. what does it mean now to yeah. this generation of African Americans in this country? So, uh, Baba, you could lead off with that. What does Black History Month mean to you now, sir? So it's changed over the years for me. So what I used to think, like I said, it was like celebrating the notable people that were ma- that made the way for us to like be here today but honestly mm-hmm. now black history for me is celebrating every single facet of like the black experience from mm-hmm. like I said from cosplayers to to like activists to to the the random firefighters but like we um we celebrate black history in the making nowadays mm-hmm. and like I honestly 
I never thought I would be a part of like the black history in the making but someone honored me and my tag team partner as like I said uh, during black history month for like I said black wrestlers black independent wrestlers mm-hmm. out here just mm-hmm. doing mm-hmm. the damn thing like and I, mm. I've never thought of myself and see myself like I'm black history in the making and that's right. what we wow. kind of like focus on like you are we are all black history in the making right whoa that is the that's true that is deep. Yeah. Can you come onto our podcast and spreading this knowledge, bro? <laughs> mm-hmm. I feel enlightened right now, dude. That's, yeah, that man. was that was great. I, you, but that's an interesting thing because I never would think like we are the ones making the history now. Right. You know. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's yeah, that's my like, with the show here. Like like you guys like this is Black History to make. It's like there's no show like y'all at all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, you guys are like the like the standard for this type of format and like. It, it's just two guys loving to just talk about what they like, what they're passionate about. Bobo, like I'm gonna it. stop you right there. I don't, like of, I don't like a lot of pressure, bro. You need to, you need to tone, tone it down. I don't like the sweat. My shoulders are heavy. We, we did not know anything about this before. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Like, like, I love listening to you guys, and like I said, it's just it's dope to like know that like somebody like later on is gonna look back on all the shows that you guys have done and be like damn like I wanna be mm. like them yeah right? wow. I never thought of it that way yeah no me neither we don't really think much on this podcast do we? <laughs> 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 we just talk random crap we just call that like out. we don't see it cause we don't exactly. see it we don't really see it <laughs> <laughs> they need somebody else to come up to show it's like no this is what you're doing look <laughs> look here <laughs> yeah. hmm. wow that is dope man I mean, and to, to jump on that because like for me as a uh, I'm a black male teacher right mm-hmm. and I didn't realize mm-hmm. how much of a little percentage that is in the educational field mm-hmm. and I mean I don't think about it on a daily but sometimes I'm like oh damn dude like I'm the only black guy here in this school yeah <laughs> like yeah. crap but then for the kids to see that you know like oh man it's a, I got a black male teacher you know mm-hmm. this is great yeah Nobody else has had this, and so to, to know that I'm in that position, I'm like, okay, well, I got to make sure I do my part here, and you know, represent as best as I can. Right. Um, but yeah, I don't really, I try not to think of it, dude, because that's a lot of pressure, dude. Yeah, to, it is. Because yeah. even though, even though you said like it sounds, it sounds cool at first, like right. you, we are the Black History makers now, and it's like, right. oh crap, bro, how do I do that? Yeah. <laughs> how do I make Black You're History? Like, we in chapter. this chapter. Yeah. <laughs> this is new territory. I don't feel well. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to do it at the time my shoes differently i don't know <laughs> <laughs> what do we gotta do oh man gee what is g what does black history month mean to you now oh man it like kind of like bible said it was the like when i was younger i didn't really care about it because i, I was just mad because it was the shortest month of the year you know what i'm saying <laughs> right like, we didn't like, get the we didn't get the full 31 yeah. days bro we you get 28 uh-huh. you can at least give us march or something like that but uh um, you know mm. but Especially because March is bored as hell. Right, we exactly. Get March. Yeah, we got Valentine's Day. Yeah, um, yeah. But it influenced, you know, it re- made me realize how much of a culture we are in human history, mm-hmm. and how every every other culture wants to gravitate towards our culture. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? From from media to sports to all kinds of fashion and everything man so mm-hmm. yeah man that what black history means to me just a recognition of our culture our culture mm-hmm. right yeah for I, I would love for black history month to focus more like on the individuals themselves like the major main mm-hmm. pieces from back in the day mm-hmm. you know have a specific day through throughout each uh throughout each week of black history month to focus on this individual's yeah. you know struggle and, and rise you know what mm-hmm. i mean like rosa Parks should have a day in february you know mm-hmm. i mean martin luther king already has a day but I, just more people to get days to just like yeah. focus on yeah. that individual yeah. themselves mm-hmm. you know malcolm x will have a day i'm like malcolm x, yeah he should have you know, a day he should he should, he should have, have, he should have day. had a day mm-hmm. you know i mean yeah. even people people like you could use even uh, artists, they could have a day, you know. Like Jay Z hit the was was a is a major African American player in the music industry, you know. Mm-hmm. Why doesn't he have a day? He could have a day, or make it an artist day, like Black Artist Day for mm-hmm. Black History Month, you know. Right. But I'm, I just I would just would love to see more days specifically for certain things throughout February, mm-hmm. you know, because like normally for Fe- for Black History Month, they'd be like, okay, Martin Luther King, we just play a video, you know, <coughs> Malcolm X, we just play a video. Most of the time, people like don't really dive in 
to what made it what it is today with, with the with the rise of African Americans, you know, right. from this culture. So mm-hmm. I, just, I, remember, I just like more fo- focus on that. I remember back in school they used to do that during Black History Run where they like mm-hmm. where they talk about an art like Langston Hughes or uh, mm-hmm. like different authors and poets about um, about who they were and their different you know poems that they had. Mm-hmm. Throughout Black History Month, though. right? Yeah, like a Maya Angelou day. Like mm-hmm. that's come on, man. You should you yeah. should get a day. She yeah. Get a day, right? mm-hmm. But I do like what Babo said once again with the the new age uh, African Americans and that we are making further history here <laughs> today. Like that is that is pretty. It's, that, it's kind of hilarious. <laughs> we just noticed that we make it. <laughs> I, I didn't know. I did not know. I did not know. Yeah. But um, I, I think it should also get like, at least like two months of the year, if anything, you know, February yeah. and yeah. then come back, mm-hmm. you know, later on July. Uh, Juneteenth yeah. just got. Yeah. June. Yeah. June. yeah. Juneteenth. Because for, yeah. for Juneteenth, um, that just got recognized as a holiday. Right. Look how long that took. Mm-hmm. Right. So, oh, mm-hmm. yeah. 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 I mean, you can make June another month for, for focusing on African-Americans. It's not that it's not going to hurt you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, <laughs> open it up. Especially for other races to understand what the, that like what they went through back in the day to where it is now. Yeah. Because when I teach Black history, I go, all right, let me start you all the way from back when slavery happened, and then I'm gonna bring you up through where it came mm-hmm. to today. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. And then it's not like we're, we're doing pretty decent, yeah. right? We're, we're, we're doing a lot better. <laughs> you know, yeah. there's still, and that's what I try to explain to kids. Like, we're still not out of like, yeah, you know, people treated everyone equally mm-hmm. in terms of race, but it's mm-hmm. a, a lot better than it used to be it used to be monstrous back then yeah so yeah but we, we are making the history as you said baba we are pushing forward and man it's an honor yeah. it's yeah. an honor i feel blacker right now yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel black. Because I'm black, y'all. And I'm black, y'all. And I'm black. 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 <laughs> oh, man. Did y'all want to add anything else on, on, on Black History Talk? Or um, that's any, other, any other creative things that we could do for Black History? I just feel like we should be doing more, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, like, we should do it. Always, uh, always more than you can do. Like I said, that's the. I, I hate to give them props or credit, but McDonald's did a great thing when they started Black 365. <laughs> Yeah, uh, like yeah. 365, yeah, mm-hmm. like it's always yeah. something you can talk about every single day when it comes mm-hmm. to black history. Mm-hmm. There's so much that we contributed into building this country, and right? Like I said cultivating our place in the annexes of like of everything mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. from from simple things like the traffic light to like the the super soaker to like certain mm-hmm. things that you use in your everyday life that you wouldn't have never noticed like a black person mm-hmm. did that yeah for yeah. example dude i just taught a lesson on this one guy and he mm-hmm. created um automatic door openings for elevators i was like oh my god yeah, mm-hmm. like, we would have never known that i never knew that <laughs> you know mm-hmm. and, and my kids were in shock as much as i was like yeah i just found this out bro <laughs> like yeah. i just found this out so that's that's incredible dude i would also also like to just like i don't know I would prefer if we could find who we're related to in Africa for some reason, like an ancestry mm. thing, like a free run, yeah, free least, trial yeah. run. Yeah, <laughs> that would like, be great. Uh, the, the general vicinity of where we were. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. right. You know what I mean? Like, where would we be representing? Like, am I Ghana? Am I Nigerian descent? You know, help me out. Right, am I? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, that would be great. That nice touch. Like, a one special Black History Month, like, we they, there's a, a, a thing for African Americans to find out exactly where they came from. You know, mm. that would be dope. Right. That would be, be dope. Yeah. Eye opener. Let's put Africa back on the map too. Like it, it doesn't have to be just African Americans. Like mm-hmm. African culture too could be brought up as well in and in, in is in this time period. Maybe that's what we do with June. You know, mm-hmm. just kind yeah, of popping out ideas. Yeah. 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 Like this. You know, I did not know that Ireland and uh, the UK celebrated Black History Month. Did you know that? No, no, they, I didn't know. They that. had yeah. black people there, but like, yeah, they do. Makes sense. <laughs> makes sense. American <laughs> thing. Yeah, yeah it's no, an American thing. Right. No, it's actually the U.S. and Canada celebrate Black History Month in February. Canada, of all places, mm. and uh, and Ireland and UK celebrated in October. Mm-hmm. Well, it kind of yeah, makes sense. I think they got thirty or thirty-one days. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they so do. we should probably yeah. just all move over to Ireland and UK next. Right. <laughs> right? Yeah. Let's go over there. Month and Halloween. Yeah. Hell yeah. I'd much rather that. <laughs> right? Because then we can mix in your cosplay of color. Right. Oh, <laughs> on, look at that. Look, look at that. that. <laughs> on Halloween. Nice. Let's get October. Get a petition going, Jennifer. 
Let's get October. <laughs> <laughs> I want that. Petition <laughs> <laughs> for, <laughs> for the Black Day, Black Holiday mm. in October. Speaking Love of it. speaking of Black History Month, we're doing speaking um, of black people. <laughs> do a top five black superheroes. Top five black superheroes. Right. So I know we might have the same, you know. No, you so, and I might have the same number one. Well, we might have the same number one. My Bible might have the Bible's same number one, one too, yeah. though. Yeah. Bobalicious. So. Mm. <laughs> 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 hold, 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 hold up! <laughs> Take it away, Bobo. What's your top five black right. soups? So, I'm gonna be honest. Like, I have I have love for all of you guys on like the same level, but my five favorite black heroes are um, Blue Marble. Mm hmm. <laughs> um, I love Spider Punk because we just found out that he's black. Mm hmm. Whoa. Yeah, yep. underneath the mask is a black man from. Mm. Um, I did not know. When did that drop? Yeah. Oh, shoot. It was either last year or a few months ago, but like they. He pulled off the mask and was a black man. Oh, and my God. Man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to write that down in my journal. Did die. Spider Punk is black. He's black, <laughs> yeah. And what was it? What else? Uh, who else? Uh, of course, Falcon or Captain America. Either, or, either version of Sam Wilson. Mm-hmm. Sam Wilson. Um, Manhattan Guardian is a deep cut for me. I love Manhattan Guardian. Mm-hmm. Um, Mal Duncan's character in Manhattan Guardian. Mm-hmm. One of my mm-hmm. favorite DC heroes. Um, he really doesn't have like powers, but like he's like one of the, one of the dope people. Um, mm-hmm. This last one was a, a toss up for mm-hmm. me because it's in the Bat family and I, I wanted to pay respects to both. Um, but I think I'm going to go with Duke Thomas. He doesn't get enough love. Um, Duke Thomas, Duke Duke Thomas is, is the current Batman, is, right? No, 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 that's that's Jace, which is oh, Duke's brother, brother. Batman he is the well, no, he he is Lark, but also the Signal, but also Robin. I've followed mm. Thomas since like the beginning of his run. And we are we are Robins. Um, mm-hmm. That was like a really dope book. I, I wish people. Would it get, like, it wasn't like, oh, it got canceled because of, like, oh, the sales. It, it, the story moved on to where, like, yeah. But, like, Duke officially got adopted by the Bat family. He was given his um, moniker of the signal because he's supposed to be, like, the daytime Batman. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> like, but he also has superpowers of, like, light and stuff like that. I think he's the mm-hmm. only powered or meta-human Bat family member. Wow. Wow. I need yeah, to check that out. Enough see. love, yeah. Yeah, break a history twice. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Man, he, um, he honestly, bro. yeah, he honestly is like um, one of my favorite Robins now. Like, because I've always mm. been a Dick Grayson fan, but like, if you get a chance to read We Are Robins, Duke is like, he's a good leader, and mm. it was really dope to see him interact with all of the the Robins before they officially made him a brother. Mm. Um, so, is Duke is like a. a Fairly new character, or yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I can't remember the specific, like the specifics on the date or years or whatever. But mm-hmm. it's like the he was because they try to they try to go it under the radar. It's like, oh, well, he wasn't officially a Robin. He was a Robin while Batman was gone. And Commissioner Gordon was Batman. Mm-hmm. And he wasn't like Robin, Robin. Like he didn't wear the Robin because even when Bruce came back, he was like. Oh, so I'm gonna be Robin now. And he's like, we're gonna try something a little different. Mm-hmm. But under Alfred, he was a Robin because wow. when Bruce was gone and uh, Commissioner Gordon was running around his Batman mech suit, Alfred was like, "Hey, there's a lot of goddamn kids <laughs> running about <laughs> getting into mischief. Right. Let me give them some bat gadgets and <laughs> wow, and, like put them on a mission." But yeah, he was the he was the the bird keeper. And he mm. got all these kids to try to find a new Robin or try to find the next Robin because Damian Wayne had went off and joined the League of Assassins again to mm-hmm. stuck in the future as Batman Beyond. Jason Todd, he was off killing people with um with with what's her name? Artemis and Mazzaro and Dick was a secret agent. So 
there's no Robin, no active Robins. Mm, gotcha. <laughs> wow. So dude. you like. Yeah, so he wanted to make a new Robin to help out the commissioner's Batman. Hence yeah, Duke. He made the We Are Robins. Yeah, hence Duke. Hence, hence Duke. the We Are Robins program. Mm-hmm. Bro, like, you're, like, you're, your comic knowledge is like top tier, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, God dang. Especially with DC. Is oh, yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm I mean, a, that is some knowledge. Yeah, I'm a DC head. Yeah. yeah. But, um, I see that. I remember you and Gene made great the, friends. <laughs> shout out to the Fox Brothers, Luke and Jace. Mm-hmm. Jason, the current new Batman, and Luke is always Batwing. But yeah, like I said, wow. it's, it, that's when people get Duke confused because mm-hmm. there's Luke Fox and there's Jace Fox now. And they're like, oh, who's wow. Duke? Like, oh, he's the, he's a Robin. He, he's Signal now. Like, yeah, but I love him. Now, I, I, got a, nice. I, I got a question. Is, um, you remember when Marlon Wayans was supposed to be Robin during the Tim Burton Batman? Yes, I do. I do remember him. Were, was he supposed to be uh, Tim Drake, or is, was he supposed to be a, I just think a whole new be character? Tim Drake. Okay, I think it was supposed to be Tim Drake because it, with Tim Burton Batman, they probably wouldn't have done Dick Grayson. Mm-hmm. They probably would have skipped to Tim Drake or whatever. But we don't like we haven't got a confirmation with it. But it would have been funny to see that play out, right. and, and then we would have had a canonical. Black Robin, before. right? Uh, exactly. Yeah, we need that, a Black Robin. Yeah, because <laughs> we need that. that like I said, that was what Duke kind of like was, was. But like, I um, I have a, a creator. He actually is still doing his damn thing. Anthony Piper, Ant Piper. If you guys know our black black ant, mm. he mm. started an entire thing called the Trilly mm-hmm. because he was like, "What if Robin was a black boy from the hood?" Right. Ooh. And that it went from there, and it was just like it's. it's he has currently now um, a deal with Fifty Cent, I believe, mm. the production company, mm-hmm. to bring the Trill League to life in animation form. It's going to be like the Boondocks meets Justice League. Ah, oh, shit. That's, that's gonna be dope. that sounds good. <laughs> that yeah. sounds good. That's gonna be dope. <laughs> yeah. So to run through your to run through your top five again, just real quick, you had who at number five, or was it any specific um, Marvel? Blue Marvel. Mm-hmm. No okay. Oh yeah, but I have Blue okay. Marvel, Falcon, Manhattan Guardian, Duke Thomas, and um, who else did I say? Uh, oh, Spider Punk. Mm-hmm. So Spider Punk. I will All right, mention. Cool. I will mention because I want to also mention this character when I go into my like the the segment later. Naomi, please go check out Naomi. There's a lot going on with this character. She is amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, like because I feel like I didn't put enough, I didn't put any ladies in my top five. But like, there, I love a lot. Like, of course, Nubia mm-hmm. right now being written by my friend, my best friend, my sister from another Mister Stephanie Williams. <laughs> Shut and, up. Um, yeah, uh, of course. Like I said, pick up, pick up like any black female character that's out there. Like they're all amazing. Mm-hmm. So, nice. Like dope. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we got it. We got to do it. <laughs> Put that on the petition, too. Yeah, Let's go. Yeah, I just, I just didn't want to leave the ladies out because like, I, I have like... I have what you a, got against the ladies, Bobo? <laughs> <laughs> Why we not on your list? <laughs> <laughs> so, AD, uh-huh. what's your top five? <laughs> top five blacks. All right, black yeah. soups. Here we go. Um, Falcon, Captain America, number mm-hmm. five. Mm-hmm. Um... War Machine at number four. Mm. I feel like I can't wait for Armor Wars to drop, bro. I'm wait, I'm ready for that. They're yeah. about to start production soon. Yeah, they are. This month or next month. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to that, man. Because he always, I'm, I'm like, yeah. man, can he get like a be, become a main Something. really quickly here? Yeah, his own Jeez. stuff. Yeah, yeah. right. Uh, I just want to see him shoot him up, shoot it up, dude. <laughs> like the like best scene I've saw. He can do. Yeah, like the best thing I saw with War Machine was when he, um, I think it was Ant Man bringing the the truck at him in mm, Civil War, yeah. and he was like, he like ah, chopped the thing yeah, down. I was like, yeah. oh man, that War Machine, bro. Yeah. yeah <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I'm hyped for that. I'm hyped for that. So yeah, him at number four, number three, I did get a lady up on my list, bro. Storm, bro. How oh, you forgot Storm, yeah, dude? Storm. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Again, yeah, like say, yeah, I, I, the, my fault, but I want to make sure y'all ladies know I love you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Apology accepted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Storm, man. I, I, I'm waiting for Storm to kind of get a revival too in the MCU. Bro, mm-hmm. It's like her portrayal has just been flopped all over the place. It, I mean, Halle Berry oh. had to go at it. Yeah. 
Yeah. And, like, and the next. We gotta find the right actress. Yeah, like, we do. Yeah. yeah, that's really it. Once mm-hmm. we find the right actress, we'll be fine. And right yeah. accent. She gotta have that accent too, man. Yeah, because I'm like, she's from uh, Africa, yeah, bro. Yeah, do you guys watch, um, what is it? The the Gods one on Star? Star, I can't remember the name. American Gods. The American Gods? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, no. But, Oh yeah, go check out American Gods. There's an actress on there. Mm-hmm. She wants to play Storm. She has the right, right accent, the right look. Like, mm-hmm. oh, she's also like the goddess of like sex and love and shit on there. Wow, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, American really Gods. Good. MCU, MCU better be better be get, get on it <laughs> on the lookout. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, and she number like I want to be Storm. <laughs> <laughs> number two on my list, uh, Spawn. Spawn. Oh, Spawn. Oh, you going oh, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I had a surprise for you there, number two. And of mm-hmm. course, you know, G, take a guess. Who's my number one? You already know. Spider Man Miles Morales. Miles Morales, that's my boy, <laughs> boy. That's my homie. <laughs> that's my dog. <laughs> Ain't that right, Spider Man? <laughs> that's my dog. <laughs> <laughs> for all the reasons, bro. Yeah. Yeah, so now that we now we've gotten past um, No Way Home, do y'all think mm. they'll give us a live action Miles because he's uh, he's there? Mm-hmm. Like I think he, they have no choice. <laughs> they keep they keep they giving already, us these hints. Yeah, they already introduced Donald Glover as Uncle Aaron, right? And he mm. called Miles, mm-hmm. and then like um, Jamie Foxx made the joke like. I just thought you'd be black. You all right. in Brooklyn, right, and right. like it's got to be a black Spider-Man somewhere. I was like, it's, right. it's coming, it's coming, it's, it's coming. coming. They just keep giving like us these coming. hints, man. Yeah, yeah. I feel like one of those hidden projects in the future is going to be a Miles mm-hmm. Morales movie, bro. Yeah. It's got to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't just leave him animated, man. Break him real life. Break him yeah. into live yeah. action. That'd be yeah. dope. All right, that's my list, bro. What's yours, G? Uh, number five, Cloak from Cloak and Dagger. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Nice. Mm-hmm. Number four. Rocket from Icon and Rocket. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, have you read the Miles Milestone Comics Revival comics yet? Yeah, I, I'm on issue. Well, the latest one was five. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Mm-hmm. See, I'm, I have. I picked up hardware. I, of course, I picked up static. Mm-hmm. And like I said, I'm waiting to get like I said the, all the rest of them when I come, go pick up my pull list. <laughs> now, hilar- hilariously, I dropped off off um, hardware and static. But I need to get back oh, on static. Please but pick back, please pick up static. Mm-hmm. Is static on your list? Is he on your list? Oh, on my list? Yeah, he was. Yeah. He was number three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah he was number static three. Shot. Nice, and, um, bro. Uh, Blue Marvel was number two. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. That's that's one character that needs to be in the MCU. Should have been in the MCU, but needs to be in the MCU. Mm-hmm. He, he he might show up with Monica Rambeau's show. Show. Secret mm. Secret. Okay. That'd be dope. Wait okay. for that. Yeah, because if, if yep. we never met her, her scientist friend that helped her. Right. Oh yeah, because he is a um, he is a physics physics professor. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. He, okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And your okay. number one, sir. Miles Morales, Spider Man. Ah, uh, man, hey. we've been best friends for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I swear, if you didn't have Miles on your list, bro, we'd have been fighting. That, that'd be messed up. <laughs> oh, I, I was going, I was going to say that with you. <laughs> <laughs> we'd have been like a golden corral Spider-Man. brawl right now, <laughs> throwing, throwing pizza oh, and stuff. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, 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 I had some honorable mentions. Um, I'm just going to okay. go through them quick. Uh, Vixen, Misty mm-hmm. Knight. Black Panther, mm-hmm. Black Lightning, I had Storm and Blade. Ooh, Blade almost cracked my list, dude. Mm-hmm. I had to swap out Blade for War Machine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, nice, nice, nice. yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, um, that's our top five black superheroes. If you guys want to chime in as well, always send us a message or call like I don't see it at gmail.com. Or you can post it up on our comments when we post up random stuff on our Instagram feeds and all that yep, good yep, stuff. Yep. Yep. So uh, let's talk just some scares here, man. Back to Demon Slayer. The latest episode that we just seen Ooh. does not look like hope oh is God. at the end of this. Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> Somebody call an ambulance. Oh, Lord. Because <laughs> shit does not, <laughs> it does not look good for these people. Yeah. Holy crap. Oh, oh, like, how did, that, how did that fight turn so sideways, dude? So quickly. So, so quickly. So here's, here's what I think. So I think old dude, I, I, what is his name? Daegu, I want to say. No, this, this has got to be. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the, the brother out of the duo, mm-hmm. he can murk everybody by himself. 
right. yes. just concerned about his sister. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's what's like slowing him down. But you see as soon as like he was like, All right, let me get get the business. Mm-hmm. <laughs> let me mm-hmm. get the work real quick. Right. Once he once he cut um once the big guy cut her head off. <laughs> Right mm-hmm. now he, he went into whole. Oh, spoiler alert! By the way, I'm sorry. We should, spoiler, should, 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 alert. Should, spoiler, spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! That thing had me like my jaw dropped, dude. Like that is a full on sickle inside that man's chest. I was like, God damn, <laughs> yeah. don't oh. kill him! It's a, a blood sickle that's like, yeah. poison in that. Like, right? Oh my! Uh. God. Like I hope he does not die, bro. Like I don't, I don't read the manga, so I'm just like, please, Lord, Nobody don't saying. kill him. Then, then, and also, they did this when their teeth work was on point. Like their teeth work yeah. throughout that whole thing was on yeah. point and they give us this at the end bro it was like two episodes of their teamwork being it. awesome right and then what you thought this was no your shit's nothing mm-hmm. <laughs> your, your squad yeah. your boy down there on the floor with his hand chopped off your boy is done his whole like, hand is <laughs> chopped off Gone. he has three wives in one <laughs> hand now what is happening <laughs> that no, other hand gonna be on overtime <laughs> No, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. But oh, only have one hand now. And yeah. made him look so badass for like what the whole the whole arc up to this point, and now yeah. he's just like yeah. nothing on the floor laying yeah. down. I was like, bro, he's non happened? flashy right now. Non flashy. No, that oh, is not a flashy oh. way to go. He took away his flashiness, dude. Man. I oh, was expecting that's... him to be laying out on the ground, man. Jeez, defeated. <laughs> that, yeah, that was a a big like. Like a big twist they added in. Mm-hmm. So like if you you would have thought like he would have held his own for a little bit or so, or at least right. like I said like like fought it to a stalemate. But to see to turn around and yeah. see him in a puddle of done. his own blood with his hand done. Top, man, oh. just done. Somebody call. I think at this point, like I don't even want to see who's above rank six. I don't think this this academy can handle him, bro. This her, no. her, her, Harisha. I don't think they're ready. They're not equipped. Tantra got unlock something within him to, to, to so, beat this dude. Like man. He, he's got to he got to use his power to make character or something, man. Right. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm the main character. I can't die. <laughs> yep. It's all on you. <laughs> well, what was interesting? I think G, uh, we saw it right when he combined water breathing and fire breathing, right? right. To, mm-hmm. to well, yeah, I think that's like the sun breathing, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Sun, yeah. He mixed yeah. it. Yeah. So he needs but to that, do. Yeah. He needs to do some kind of new breathing combina- combination to save the day because I'm looking know what for. It would be, though. What would it? Yeah, what would it be, bro? I don't, I don't, I don't even know. know. <laughs> That's a oh, whole. What can take him out? <laughs> they give us some kind of. <laughs> I don't know, maybe some kind of mist technique, like fire and water mix it together. You got mist, like mist oh, breathing. You gotta do some kind of yeah, breathing. Just get the fuck out of there. Just disappear and leave. Fight is over. Yeah. I'm sorry. Get out of here, breathing. Concentrate. <laughs> I'm heading right? over to Jujutsu, Jujutsu's realm. I'm, I can't deal with this. This is too much. I'm right. out. You gotta find somebody to put his hand back on. <laughs> <laughs> friend, you need put, need anybody oh. might need to put him back in a box or something too. Put Tengen in a box. Help him out he well, needs to be he needs to be helped <laughs> my thing is with Tingen once he said this is our last mission I knew this wasn't gonna go well for him yeah bro yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> when, when, like, it, when he when he hooked up with the uh with the fire dude in the spiritual vision yeah, right yeah, I was yeah. like oh, oh no I was like Kirk. oh I was like well, you already having flashbacks yeah <laughs> <laughs> You already calling it quits. Oh man! <laughs> like, you know when it was uh, when he the arc when he even over yet, Mm-mm. bro. When when uh when the spiral twisted demon grabbed one of his wives, right? And they mm-hmm. did the whole cut scene to the past. I was like, yo, she's oh, dead. All right, yeah. so I, that's what I was thinking too. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> oh, yeah. Everybody is catching hands, and I don't know yeah. how to yeah. feel. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> by one person that Dog, came out of his sister. It is all chaotic, bro. <laughs> all chaotic. I don't know at this point. I'm, I'm feeling like somebody from the other one of the other Harishas got to step in. At least like two of them. Somebody got to be watching this whole fight and just waiting to come out. Like send somebody <laughs> to help because this 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 is a fail. Yeah, they yeah, pull, yeah, 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 for yeah. real. Go for real. <laughs> They're just like what? Goku, go. Not yet. <laughs> not, not yet. Not Hold on. Yet. Not Wait not a minute. Bloody enough. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me or gather like, my well, sensu beans. <laughs> or like a or like an Ichigo moment, right? Where Ichigo came in oh, to, to kill Aizen. Oh, like we need we need yeah. something like that. We need something. Like, where were you this whole time? I've been training. What? <laughs> what? Yeah. 
and hiding my ass off because this shit's crazy. <laughs> what? <laughs> not what I signed this up for. Not... <laughs> no. <laughs> I, just, I just want to let you know, just stop. I would love him to just have a one-on-one heart-to-heart conversation. Just stop everything and say, look, listen, what's your number again? Six? Right. Six? Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm packing oh. it up. I'm packing it up. Six, man. <laughs> Tap on the top of Desert Cole's box. There's a go. <laughs> right? Get out of here. <laughs> Come on, girl. We out of here. That's a coat. Don't worry about it, girl. Don't, you don't got to do nothing else. We out here. Just stay mm. stay demonized for the rest of your life. I can't. I can't fix this. I can't fix this. <laughs> and it seemed, it seemed like they was powering up this... Well, you know, the siblings been powering up this this these last three episodes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And right when they depleted, all heck break loose. Like, yeah, it does. Oh. <sighs> I don't know. I'm, I mean, as we talk, folks, by like the new, the latest episode just dropped. I think it dropped today while we yeah, were recording. Yeah, so, we haven't watched it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, hopefully, <laughs> if, it, if, it, if it gets even more worse, Bobo, we're just going to call you back next week. Bro, oh, no, listen, no, dog. No, no. <laughs> Shit. Somebody lost a leg. It's not growing back. <laughs> he, got, he down to two wives. <laughs> Tangelo oh, lost no. his earrings. Somebody snatched the earrings out of his ears, and now he's powerless. Right. Like, oh, shit, I don't know what's going on now. Oh. <laughs> Oh my! And there was no—I I don't know, man. They are seriously OP in that demon world, bro. Like, yeah, man, those demons. Like, that's why. That, that yeah, like there's no, there's no real like, oh, I can work my way up. Like, no, it's either you got it or you right, or well, you don't, like, bro. Yeah. They got no weaknesses, none. <laughs> it's it's crazy, like, bro. We barely got them with these red swords. Like if that don't work. What do I do next? <laughs> like I a- did all the things. I turned it off and turned it back on. I cleared my cookies and cash. What next? I could. <laughs> What I restarted. Else could I, do? I restarted my router. I don't know what the hell. I, right, like, do. <laughs> I just go back to my commander. Like, hey, bro, you didn't set me up for fi- like. You said it to a slaughter. Look, can I get right, another rock? Yeah. Can I get another rock to swing on, please, to, to practice my swing on? Because oh, this is oh, not man. working, dude. Man. Hopefully, these, these there is hope. Fight back. <laughs> <laughs> they came back at me. <laughs> <laughs> These rocks fight back, <laughs> and they hard too. And they hard too. They <laughs> cannot slice, and then even if you slice them, they're not really fully yeah, sliced off. Like, and they just regenerate. Hey. Yeah, man. Come on. Oh. Nobody told me about regenerating blood that could hold on and coagulate. Like, what yeah. the hell kind of oh. crap is this? And then you get oh, you you find a potion. Sorry. Then also you find a potion that will slow his regeneration down, and he beats that. Like, come on, dude. Again, I've tried everything. <laughs> I'm supposed to do it here. Like, and there's, there's ones that are stronger than him? That's what I'm saying, dude. Man. That's what I'm saying. Put your Man. papers in right now. We will accept your resignation today, Man. Tanjiro. I don't... I don't need I don't need to be a Harisha. It's all right. Nah. I mean, I'm, <laughs> For I'm, real, I'm bro. Figure it out. Nah, I'm just gonna be some kind of side rice collector or something. I don't know. Just I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick, rice pick. I'll go back to what I'm doing and pick coal coal in uh, another village right, somewhere. Go back to my family. Yeah. My family. For business. real. Yeah. I'll just sit down by my by my family. You know. You know their graves and just pray over them. Right, That's right. it. Well, yeah, I tried, I don't, but I don't need nothing else. Because <laughs> dude, can you imagine? Because because who killed who killed the flame dude? Was he number three? Yeah, he was number three, and he killed that dude. Like, mm-hmm. come on, bro. Just, yeah. What's number two and number one gonna look like at this point? Like, that's mm-hmm. that's too much stupid, of a gap. Stupid, crazy, like, <laughs> yeah. And it's and it's always it's always a de- a higher ranking demon watching the whole thing with right. someone yeah, it's in, like the, this, some, exactly. in the cut. Yeah, it's just like the and, Mulan train. And all of this said, there's still nobody that could match up with the Michael Jackson head leader. <laughs> oh. Smooth criminal. There's a smooth criminal over there. Oh my God. Yeah. How it's strong like, is he? Oh, man. Jesus, Lord. That's too old, people. They might have to actually merge anime characters here and, um, <laughs> and just go get, like, get go, that Go Gogeta. Go get Gogeta. No, no, no. Get get freaking get the OP dude from, from Jujutsu, bro. Uh, uh, oh, so, Satoru. Uh, yeah, Satoru. Yeah, yes. yeah, him, bro. Yeah. Gojo, yeah. Go Gojo, get him, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring him over here. Bring <laughs> him. <laughs> bring the whole <laughs> squad. Look. Yo, just take your eye out real quick. Yeah, bring, there, bro. bring him in. and t- Take off that eye. T- show that eye. Put him in Infinity Chop-Ups. Oh. We need Infinity moves right here. God oh. dang. 
Jeez, dude. But it's been great. This, this, this arc has just been it's awesome. It's been a wild ride. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it has been. And this this arc has just upped up the ante by tenfold. So right. once again, this episode gets a 10 for me. I know it's hopeless, but it, it'll get a 10 out of 10 for me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Jesus ten Christ. Hopeless 10. <laughs> ten, ten, ten hopeless 10. 10 hopeless 10. <laughs> ten. Uh, I guess we're all in agreement there, right? 10 out of 10. Oh, 10 Anybody? out of 10 for sure. Yeah, 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 no doubt. Yeah, from Can't animation wait. to just like just the way that the story played out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's it's crazy. So mm-hmm. yeah, look out for that, folks. Next episode dropping. I can't wait. Right after we done this podcast, I'm gonna have to watch that episode, bro. Yeah. Holy crap! So let's move on now. We're calling it there. We're going into uh, the most divisive there. freaking series of, <laughs> to date that we've been talking about in this podcast. Freaking Book of Bubba Fett. Book of Book of the Jar. <laughs> Oh. Spoiler alert, by the way, because it's about to get really bad. <laughs> Spoiler, alert. Spoiler alert. Book of everybody. Let's just say that. Book of, <laughs> Book of everybody. everybody. Book of everybody in the soul. They set, up, they set up everybody in this episode. Yeah. <sighs> I, I don't know what's I don't know what to st- I don't want to start off because I'm normally the pessimistic so far on this, on this series. <laughs> Baba, what are your thoughts, bro, on this on this episode particularly? Um. So my thing is, they threw a lot of a lot of a lot of things at you this episode, from mm-hmm. like I said the whole Jedi Temple to to like what's happening with like the bounty hunters. Um, I want to say his name is Thad. But, like, mm-hmm. you have to know these characters from, like, the Clone Wars and Star Wars Rebels mm-hmm. and stuff right. like that. Mm-hmm. Like, you, 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 like, a lot of people who've never seen that looked at this dude like, oh, he's just another, like, guy. Like, no, this, mm-hmm. he's a problem. Yeah, he's right. the reason why Boba Fett has a dent in his yeah, helmet. Same, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, because he, he said that arm, you should have kept that armor because he gave Boba a headshot mm-hmm. and that, that armor saved him. Yeah. Oh, so I'm the guy that's on the outside. You're talking about the blue. You talking about the blue guy, right? With the yeah, with the red the eyes. Guy with the cowboy. K. Bane. Right, okay. Is, cool. Yeah, that's his K. Yeah, he trained Boba Fett to be a bounty hunter. What? Like all the all the stuff that he, Boba Fett n- learned or whatever. Was mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, wow. He is. He was number one bounty hunter before Boba Fett like took his spot. Mm-hmm. Wow. So for <laughs> them to bring him in to kill Boba. He's mm-hmm. serious. He almost killed. Um, he almost killed oh, yeah. um, Obi Wan. Sure he's not dead. Oh, I thought he was dead. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, boy, from the episode. Oh, oh no, he's dead. He's well, dead. well, <laughs> I know his his deputy. His deputy definitely dead. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. His deputy's gone. Oh, he's definitely he's gone. <laughs> what was that his first what? week on the job? That's it for him. He's out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. it's a wrap. Mm-hmm. Send him flowers. You, you, your first week on the job, or you, <laughs> or you one week from retirement? They never tell anybody that. He's new and dead now. <laughs> Send, yep, send yep. flowers yep. to his family. Um, <laughs> but, but yeah, it, it, I want to. I know what's going to happen with the uh, for spoilers the Grogu and Luke Skywalker story. Mm-hmm. But I like the way that they have blended back in the Mandalorian and, and like said everybody into this because this was a a good catch up for all the other stuff that we have coming up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and Ahsoka was like, oh, this is the safest place for him. I was like, no, girl, run. <laughs> Y'all don't know this little boy named Kylo. <laughs> <laughs> right, because it, doesn't he destroy the whole thing, right? He yeah, he, he destroyed right. the whole temple. Yeah. And kills all the students, too, right? Right. Yeah, kills yeah, all yeah. the students. Yeah, so if Grogu don't leave, we got to know where to go from here. But if he leaves... Then it's home from the beat. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what you're saying. Mm Mm-hmm. Greg, your takes on this episode, bro? Um, I didn't kind of didn't like the the nostalgic of um Luke doing all the stuff that he used to do with Yoda. All of that. I did. It felt like it was like a nostalgic too too much nostalgic. I didn't really want to see on the nose. And plus, this is book of about to go with uh, AD with this. This is the book of Boba Fett. We not see we only see Boba Fett in one scene, oh, and yeah, like it, it's it's got a mess. It's got a messed up now. I was cool with one episode, but another episode he just in one scene. That's kind of kind of weird. Bro, but, um, I I looked at the timestamp for when he was coming in. I, I never watch a show and keep checking the time for something, right? I was mm-hmm. just like, all right, cool. I just yeah. watch it. But I was just like, okay, so when is Bubba coming back in the show? When is Bubba coming back in the show? Yeah. 15, 15 minutes. Yo, Bubba's not back in the show yet. Oh, when no. is <laughs> 27 minutes. Yo, 
Boba just came back in the show for 10 seconds, bro. Yeah, <laughs> right. It was to do, to do a head nod. Yeah. It, <laughs> he it was It was nice seeing it was nice seeing these characters, but I wasn't expecting them to be I was definitely expecting Luke and Ahsoka to be in this episode of like this series. Yeah. Yeah. That that was a good that was a good like it like surprise to see both of them interact with each other. Mm. Like I don't think because the way she talked, I don't think she's ever met him. She knows of him, mm-hmm. but she's never met him. She was like, "Oh, I'm a friend of the family." Right? I'm like, "Oh, you remind me. You sound just like your father." Shit, like, "Oh, mm-hmm. boy. yeah." Mm-hmm. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no, well, no, Bobo, understand, Bo- understand, Bobo. <laughs> let, let, let me tell you, Bobo. Look, look, look. All right, you. I, I'm hearing you. Your Star Wars fandom. You are deeply into Star Wars, right? Uh-huh. You are all wrapped up into yeah. it. I get that. So I, I, I respect that. I mean, but from from the other perspective here, of those that's not in it uh-huh. that deeply, you know, I'm just here looking at it from Boba's perspective and yeah, for yeah, fans yeah, of yeah. Boba okay. you know I'm like when is Boba getting his plot moved along or his show back <laughs> for what uh, you know it's, it's what are episodes. Yeah, I agree. It's <laughs> and, and his finale is next week like, what are you guys all doing here yeah. like in my show can I get some shine you know his mistreatment of Boba as a, as the character is just like damn bro this, really... I'm gonna hurt your feelings a little bit more now uh-oh. So oh man! They're saying that <laughs> the next week's with our the finale that's coming up, uh-huh. it may have Obi Wan Kenobi in it. Oh my goodness! Oh, 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 you might as well bring in uh, Vader's uh, <laughs> Force Ghost come back. <laughs> oh my god, oh. bro! But I like I said, the, the the Star Wars realm that this is great. You know, everybody's loving this yeah. stuff. But for the ones that's just focusing on the one character, it's just like, dude, what are you guys really doing with him? Why are you? Why do you have him here? <laughs> what is now, his purpose? Now, since uh, Dave Filoni directed this episode, it was cool to see his character live action form. It was nice seeing yeah. Cad Bane being Ooh, as he is into the, you know that's the first time he's ever been live action yeah that's the first time I like his interest too it was a bad interest oh it's a bad yeah. man yeah yeah it is yeah. yeah he was dope he looked very malicious the way he looked but mm-hmm. I'm just I'm just waiting for it bro I'm just waiting for it like and then like G said with the whole I feel like they lean a lot heavy on this nostalgia stuff dog like how much can you milk the Luke Skywalker family line. How mm. how much can Ooh, you milk that? That is thing? a good question. Yeah, you have about nine movies. Jesus yeah. Lord, <laughs> right? Like yeah. when, when she like the the, the impact movies, for it, like four shows, right? Right. Like, the the impact for it for me was just like, blah, you know, like I've heard this stuff before. Where she said, "Oh, you remind me of your father." I'm like, I really don't care about Anakin at this point, bro. <laughs> like we've already been there, like, done that. Yeah. Like this you is know? this is this is the moment where you posted. Leave Luke Skywalker alone and stuff like that. Yeah, with there's this, uh, the Jaren and the Mandalorian. There's so many yeah. other things you could folk like, and, and I mean, I'm bringing up Star Wars Visions because that is a prime example of how many things you could do within the Star Wars realm. You know, I no- love Star Wars Visions. Man, there you go, man. We there you go. Was there any mention of Luke or or oh, Vader? No, like, it was. You're right. You're correct. <laughs> You know, there's so much you could be... That's what I was looking for and hoping for with Boba Fett. It's why Mandalorian stood out to me so much and why we loved it. Because it had nothing to do with Luke and them boys. Right. You know what I mean? It had nothing until to do with the, the past stuff. Left, right. Until, until, of course, that, you know, tied it back in. So they're like, oh, no, we're uh, still milking Luke. We got to bring him back and, in. He's our product. If you if they really love Jedi so much, there's always different different times Jedi has been around. So you don't have to just keep yeah, going with why. this family. <laughs> Yeah, that's why a lot of people want to see the old Republic and the mm-hmm. high Republic. Right, right. right. These are different, different eras of the Jedi when they were in like their heyday and shit. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you know, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, there's so many different possibilities you can do. So why not? You know. Yeah. Just go there. So keep bringing up this whole yeah. Luke Skywalker stuff. It's just like, all right, we're tired. Yeah. We're personally really tired of it. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm just like, all right, bro. Like y'all That's wasting a- y'all wasting money doing this CGI version of <laughs> of Luke Skywalker. Yeah, yeah, bringing in the stunt double and then right. like Mark Hamill do the voiceover. Yeah. It's a lot of money. Yeah, a lot of money. A lot of money that you could be used for some something else. Yeah, this, yeah. I don't know. Would you any other thoughts on this fat episode? <laughs> um. No, I'm just gonna give my rate. I'm gonna give it a seven. <laughs> More because of Cad Bane. That's uh-huh. Yeah. Alright. Mm-hmm. How about you, Bobo? Bobo, sorry. Um, 
Bob, Bob, Bob. So for me, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a eight and a half. Eight and a half. Eight and a half. Mm-hmm. I know. I know. I I feel as the finale is gonna deliver. It's gonna be a big payoff because I don't even think they're doing like a season two of this. Nah, no, not the way it's looking. No, no, not for Boba, not nah. for Paul Boba. If you ain't gonna have him in his episodes, yeah. you, nah. if you're not gonna put him in his own show, <laughs> nah. like, no, no, nah. that's just messed up. I feel like both this, this show for for this character, it's like how corporate America treats minorities, bro. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's like you thought you you thought you had something, didn't you? <laughs> you thought you had something. No, this is still ours. This is still ours, and we're gonna, you know, put it in our own thing. You can be quiet. You can be quiet. <laughs> Don't speak. Just do a head nod. Uh, <laughs> but but it was my show. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the struggle, Baba. <laughs> right. <laughs> Welcome to the struggle. Dang, yeah, I'm gonna give it a seven and a half too. Just just for just for seeing, I don't know, something. <laughs> something you got your worth seconds. watching. You got your ten seconds. Yeah, 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 you know yeah, something. Something. A little something there. Oh, something. Give it a seven and a half. <laughs> so, yeah. Nah, from Bobo. Yeah. yeah, there we go. Yeah. That, that'll do. <laughs> that'll do. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully the season finale just like, you know, hits it up there, ends on a good note. Um, all right, so let's call it an effect there. We got a, uh, oh man, we haven't done this yet for the whole, for the whole year yet. Right? Oh, yeah. Nope. Mm-hmm. Put your oh, face in this. this. Oh. Put you oh. in your place in. Oh. It's going to have it back. <laughs> Bobo, you gonna tell us the first thing when you run up with your right. face in? Yeah. Right. So, so are we doing like a round robin, like going around, or like uh, just give them all at once? Just what you, you put in your face. Yeah, yeah, you go ahead. Yeah, yeah you okay. can just give them all. So, at once. Um, Tuesday nights. Tuesday nights. You have what four black shows you can watch? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna give you three. Okay. Like, of course. As I told you earlier, Naomi. Naomi is now a live action CW show. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and check it out. I think it's only like three or four episodes in, mm-hmm. but we've gotten a lot of good um, action, a lot of good storytelling. Like it, it's just something so refreshing. Like you know how like you always see like a a, a black nerdy character, and they're like, oh, everybody hates this person, and they're stupid because mm-hmm. they're right. like, nerdy stuff that's not what happened when it, everyone loves this child and i wow. it's so refreshing like mm-hmm. all of her friends are always there for her her family mm-hmm. is understanding even when they were like kind of like oh naomi you're messing up they were like well we did treat you like a grown-ass person for, for like the <laughs> majority of your life mm-hmm. so i get why you just thought this was okay or uh, like like and like they definitely acknowledge how smart she is and mm. like there there's not at one point where they're like girl if you don't sit your little child self down they like they just talk to her <laughs> mm-hmm. it's lovely naomi watch naomi, naomi also Hi. on tuesday nights abbott elementary one of the funniest mm-hmm. shows out right now well not it was one of the two funniest shows out right now um mm. Abbott elementary is by quinta brunson she is an old buzzfeed um <laughs> correspondent or youtuber but she mm-hmm. also a meme fame of um oh he got money and all the other meme stuff that she does right. mm-hmm. um she is doing a office style um sitcom about teaching and everything like that um Abbott Elementary is lovely and beautiful great Abbott class Abbott please check it out gotcha and Grand Crew on NBC Grand Crew mm-hmm. is just to take at like um Black life as it is today. There is Mr. Terrific from the Arrowverse. Um, I think it's something Echoes. Um, he's <laughs> Noah Echoes, I want to say. But he was, I think his name, no, his name is Noah in the show. My bad. Um, <laughs> but yeah, if you, you guys remember Mr. Terrific, it yeah. is like impossible, always braided hair right before we go out on patrol. <laughs> he is on Grand Crew. Um, Nicole Byers on Grand Crew. A lot of great um, up and coming black actors and actresses on Grand Crew as well. Nice. Um, yeah, that would honestly take you to, like the block of prime time. Grand Crew comes on at eight thirty. Abbott Elementary comes on at nine, but also Naomi comes on at nine. So set your DVR for either one. Nice. That's what I do, mm-hmm. and then like I said, Naomi is an hour long show, so it takes you from nine to ten. Abbott Elementary is like thirty minutes, so you get the thirty minutes. Mm. Um, okay. Solid night. 
<laughs> yeah, it's a, Tuesday nights are really it's really good for TV watching. And then okay. I think after Abbott Elementary, Blackish comes on. It's their final season. But yeah, support mm. those shows. All that like. You gotta oh, hit the line, Bobo. You gotta hit the line. Oh yeah, yeah. Hit the face line, yeah. Bro. You gotta sing it. Oh, you gotta yeah. sing it. Put your face in it. <laughs> hit it with hit it with your chest, Bobo. Put your face in that. Put your face in it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, you guys definitely like those are my mm. those are my three Tuesday night shows that I want y'all to really check out. And mm. um, Amy DuVernay is doing Naomi. Mm. So it's like top quality. And like I said, Quinta Brunson is doing Abbott Elementary, so two black women, and mm. it's a black male who um who did Grand Cruise. So yeah. All black everybody. everything. Like we said. Did it tell you? Yep. Did it tell you? Yeah. Woo! Nice. Gee, what you put your face in this week, bro? Uh well Bobo took Abbott Elementary from oh, me. Oh my man. <laughs> he took his punch your face. <laughs> but yeah, that Abbott El- Elementary is a, a really funny show, man. Like if you like the office, like he said, yeah. And if you like, you know, since A A D, this is a show for you because you a teacher. You know ah, what I'm saying? So is. Abbott Elementary is uh, you, you, yeah. you, I, I recommend that more for AD than anybody else. Two people now talking about Abbott Elementary. So. Yeah, uh-huh. you hate your principal, you'll you'll love the show. AD. I can't say that on the. Uh... <laughs> 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 can't say that on the. Uh... <laughs> uh, yeah, what what um, do from um, everybody hates Chris? Chris yeah, he's he's one of the teachers. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Substitute. Yeah, he's a substitute. So, yeah, he's a substitute teacher. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. He makes that distinction every episode. Right. He's a substitute. <laughs> I'm just I'm a substitute. I'm not gonna be here. I'm not <laughs> gonna be here. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. What well, you got? Anything else? Do um, Yeah, I got. I got one more. Um, uh, it's a comic called uh, Nina Hawk's Nightmare Blog, Ooh, and it's okay. uh, the spinoff to um, Philadelphia. Oh, nice. Oh, from um, oh, snap. from Rodney, uh, Rodney Sh- what's his name? Rodney Barnes. Mm-hmm. Writer Rodney Barnes and artist by Jason Sean Alexander, and it's about nice, um, nice. Nina Hawks. He's a, a psychological teacher or mm-hmm. um, uh-huh. a, a student for that, and then her her brother dies, but his ghost comes and see, shows her, you know, anything that's going on, and she got like a blog where supernatural events happen, and they, people could go to that blog and tell them their story, and she go investigate. What was going Sweet. on? Okay. Yeah. So Get that's the line, uh, bro. I put your face in this. There we go. There you go. <laughs> I feel so satisfied. You guys say it. <laughs> <laughs> you be waiting. Say a lot. Say a lot. I lean back in my chair and I touch myself. I'm like, oh, say it. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. Say it. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Put your face. Yes. <laughs> whoa. Whoa. It's still a this is a daytime podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Late night. <laughs> oh man, all I'm putting my face in, and I'm telling you how to put your face in, is some uh, takis, bro. Takis. That snack Ooh, is like okay. a hot spice chip snack. Mm-hmm. I tried to, uh, and my my kids have been telling me about takis for the longest, and I rewarded them with takis last week, like twenty bags for the glass. Oh, okay. and I was like, oh, wow, okay, yeah. And I was like, you know, because they all passed on the, uh, this one test that we were taking. So I was like, you know what? Let me uh, let me take one of these bags here and try. I'm out. So I'm eating this thing on the way home from work, bro. And I was like, yo, this chips is delicious. It's got like this spicy sweetness to it, bro. And it hits so good with a hint of lime on it. I was like, bro, oh, yeah. mm. this is delicious. Of course, it made me sweat like crazy because that kick is serious. Right. <laughs> uh-huh. But it's, a, it's an enjoyable kick. Like you can eat it. Like, you know, when you eat like a really good buffalo wing, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. That spice just right. That's what Takis is like, but in chip form. Ah, okay. So yeah, Takis, bro. Put your face in. Wait. Now I'm done. All right, All right. that's it. Yep. <laughs> so we're gonna slow things down slow there. Now get a little down. quiet. Yeah. Calm yourself. Mm-hmm. GP's gonna take us through positive, positive chakra. chakra. Yeah, yeah. Here All we right. go. Here we go. <sighs> Never be limited by other people's limited imaginations. I'll say that one again. Never be limited by other people's limited imaginations. And that was by Dr. Mae Jeminson, and she was the first African American astronaut. Wow. Mm-hmm. Don't let someone who's close minded tell you otherwise. Mm. 
or try to fill you in and persuade you to be close minded. Mm-hmm. That's what I get from that. Never see your vision. Mm-hmm. Nah, bro. That's that thing always pisses me off sometimes. I mean, like, how yeah. you gonna tell me? I can't do this when you never did it. Yeah. <laughs> but you scared? Like, no, they're scared well, to do it. Yeah, yeah they're scared right. to do it. Mm-hmm. Like, oh no, this can't happen. No, yes, it can. Yeah. So, ah, oh, God, that's yeah. frustrating. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good stuff there, G. Yeah. Hey, that's why I like Bob Owen on the show too, man. He's just like, you know, you're just full of open mindedness, probably just yeah. open mind. <laughs> just work so well together, dogs. Yeah. Nice. All right, mm-hmm. so uh, we got some yell outs before we head out here. G, who you yelling mm-hmm. out before we go? Uh, Simple and quick. Uh, shout out to my siblings, my brothers and sisters making moves. I see you. Even if you don't know I see you, but I see you making moves. So <laughs> shout out to y'all. No, no, no. It's like making moves, like, you know, progressing in the world. No, no. I, I no, mean, you saying. staring at them like they're not looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> Even though you don't think I see I'm watching. You. you think I don't see what you're doing, I but see I see what you. You're doing. I yeah, see you. I see you. I'm looking. He, he's that, he's that, he's that um, higher level demon. I'm looking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, I'm like, look at this <laughs> fight. This fight. This fight going all crazy. He's that level sh- two, the level two <laughs> demon watching everybody. Look, should oh I jump God. in? Should I jump in? But nah, <laughs> I'm going to stay right here and look at Oh, it. my God. Creeper. 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 <laughs> That's it oh, for me. Man. All right, um, Bobo, you got you want you get yell out before we go. Yeah. Um, of course, like I told you guys, shout out to my Twitter sister from another mistress, Stephanie William. She is currently the writer, um, co-writer on Nubia, um, Nubia and the Amazons. Go pick that up. I think they're at epi- um, issue four mm-hmm. right now. Um, all the issues have been amazing and like I said beautifully written beautifully illustrated go pick up Nubian and Amazons um shout out to um my friends uh Space Castle podcast they are big advocates for Bobo's block definitely love talking with them as well too gotta get you you guys hooked up with Space Castle podcast it'll be lovely to have y'all okay. all y'all like that mm. like one big old podcast together would be mm-hmm. um, nice what else and um yeah, shout out to everybody who's been coming out supporting everybody who's um, liked the real came out to the live shows done like anything with my wrestling matches thank you guys for all the support thank you guys for having me on again as well oh, too man. Man, really no problem no problem this. No problem, Bobo, man. We, we just, I mean, y'all out, Bobo, man. Just, just, yeah. just great guests. Yeah. So great to catch mm-hmm. you back in your busy schedule. Great for, thank you for joining us as well, man. And your yeah. open mindedness as well, bro. Just keep yeah. it up, man. All the, all the best of success to you, oh, yeah. dude, in everything oh, you do. And your many talents. Man. Many, many talents. Many talents. Is he also oh talented? Bobo, yeah. this <laughs> talented off the block. Bobalicious! And he never gonna no, stop! Bobalicious! Taste it! Taste it! I'm about to make that like an official entry. Nah, dog, you gotta yeah, leave man. that dance with the devil one, bro. That one is too, oh, dude. That, that you, one got, you got two. Dance, you got two to choose. Oh, I got two, yeah. 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 We are the gift that keeps giving here on this podcast. There you go. You got yep. two new intros. <laughs> yep. yep. <laughs> Four years. Uh, my only yell out before we go. Yell out to Waltz and Joe T. They just got a new crib. Um, big, right. <laughs> big house. And it was like amazing to see. Mm-hmm. Um, and they're doing big things and putting it together as well as putting together a man cave, as G mentioned earlier. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, shout out to them. Congratulations. And G, I can't wait to be in your house as well to uh, shout your house out next week. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> next week, right? <laughs> next week? <laughs> Possibly, we'll see. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, so that was that guy there known as uh, Bobo, the friendly neighborhood nerd Bobo. And now with that guy known as A.D. Hi. <laughs> and sir, the one that just spoke was GP. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, hi. So listen, folks, if you don't realize right now, 68 episodes in, we are all black everything on this podcast, <laughs> and that's what we do. And now we got to pay some demons some dudes so they won't attack us. Oh, God, please pay them dudes off. I don't want to be hit. Nah. So we will catch you folks on the flippity flop. Peace. Bye. Deuces.